Okay, here we have a single plane swinger. Uh, the plane of the golf shaft is the yellow line. His back angle is the red line. Though it should be somewhere right close to the 90 degrees. You see pretty close to that position right there. He's going to take the club back nicely on the yellow line. And by where he does have a little issue is right about here. He tends to let the club rotate over a little too much. But he works it into the swing perfect right there. And you're going to see that the lead arm is going to end up directly on the swing plane again. Um, and the shaft is going to be parallel to the target line. And his target line is out here to this tree, and you can see the club shaft is pretty much parallel to that. That's an important place to be in the golf swing. He's got plenty of rotation. The one thing he has done is maybe overbend his left arm and right arm a little bit, but he's okay with that. Now we're going to see him return the club back down to the impact position, right on the plane again. See how he's coming right down the plane, even a little under it, which is okay. His hands, his hands here are a little higher than they were at setup, but that's probably where they would be at, at a normal setup for him anyway. Then he's going to pull through the shot and take the ball a little out to the right, and he's going to draw it right back into the target line. Still, the, the ball's going very nicely. I'd like to see a little bit more weight transfer to the front side at this point to where he's put all of his momentum going forward. Uh, but this is a really good swing. Single plane seems to be the right thing for him.